What's up guys, Jason here, back at it again with another video. I'm really sorry if I haven't been posting lately. I took a very long break and I've been helping Neri out with some of her videos as well. But don't worry, my hiatus is over and I'm back. From the title of my video, as you can see, we will be talking about the iPhone 12 series. This is also a buying guide as well, wherein I'll be helping you guys to decide which iPhone 12 series is the one for you. Aside from that, we will also be talking about where to buy the cheap iPhone right now. And I know a lot of you are struggling whether to buy here from the Philippines, wherein you have an NTC certificate, or buy from resellers who got theirs from other countries such as Hong Kong, Singapore, or even the US. There are loads of ways to buy iPhones in the Philippines. One way is of course to buy from authorized resellers such as Beyond the Box, Power Mac, or even Switch. And we also have online resellers such as Breeze Authentics, AJT Gadget World from Facebook, and they also have a physical store in Green Hills, well, a lot of resellers in Green Hills, and even Kim's store. And of course, we all know the cheapest way to buy iPhones are, of course, from resellers. Why? Because they get their products directly from the Apple store, such as in countries like Singapore, Hong Kong, and even the US. The usual price is around 10,000 to 15,000 cheaper than the ones in the authorized retail stores. But I have a tip for you guys. Avoid buying immediately when Apple releases new products such as the iPhone 12 series from resellers. Why? Because first of all, there's nowhere to buy in the Philippines from official authorized resellers such as Power Mac, Beyond the Box, and Switch. And expect these resellers to mark their prices up from 10,000 to 20,000 pesos from SRP. But since it's already December, the online resellers are reasonably pricing their iPhone 12 series. Why? Because the official resellers such as Power Mac, Beyond the Box, and Switch are bringing the iPhone 12 series to our Philippine shores. So so yeah, they're gonna price accordingly, but a lot more cheaper than the official resellers. It doesn't mean that they are cheaper, that you should buy already. If you are very picky, make sure that the iPhone you buy is NTC approved. The iPhones from the official authorized resellers are of course NTC approved already. No need to worry about that, you're good. The reason why the online resellers have cheaper prices for their iPhones is because not all of their iPhones are NTC approved, especially the ones from China, Hong Hong Kong, US, and even Singapore. Which is why you'll notice if you check the AJT Gadget World from Facebook, they have the NTC variant and the non-NTC variant. And the NTC variant is around 2,000 to 5,000 pesos higher. If the iPhone that you bought is NTC approved, it means that the antenna bands of that iPhone is 100% compatible in the telcos in the Philippines. Such as again, Smart and Globe. Or in Tagalog, makakakuha ka ng maganda at stable na signal. Katulad 4G or LTE or even 5G, but in select places only. For example, the iPhones that I have right now are not NTC approved. But the question is, did I experience some signal drops or even lost connections in certain areas? To be honest, I haven't experienced that yet. But the iPhones that we bought recently, such as the iPhone 11 series, that are also not NTC approved, did struggle a bit in certain areas in the Philippines. There are times that we've lost signal, but our companions did not experience that at all. So yeah, the experience from the iPhone 11 kind of sucked. With the iPhone 12s that I have right now, I can't say for sure na mawawalan kayo ng signal in certain areas. So we'll just have to travel and find out. Now what about warranty? Are you scared that the service center might not accept your Apple products since it does not have the NTC certificate? Okay, let me just make this clear. All of your Apple products have one year warranty. But according to the Apple website, Apple may restrict warranty service for iPhone iPhone, iPad, or even the Apple TV to the country where Apple or its authorized resellers originally sold the device. So yeah, there are times that Apple may not accept your Apple products bought outside the Philippines. But I know a lot of people that bought their products outside of the Philippines, took it to the service center, and replaced their Apple products without spending money. Again, it's a case-to-case -case basis. So, where should you buy? To be honest, if you really want to save around 10,000 pesos less, yes, you can buy from our online resellers. But do take note, most of the resellers only accept cash. If you want a slight sense of security, or if you want to use your credit card, then go buy at our official resellers, such as Power Mac, Beyond the Box, and again, Switch. So, iPhone 12 series, which one should you buy? Should it be the mini, the regular iPhone 12, the 12 Pro, 
or the 12 Pro Max. First of all, it's a bit unusual that Apple decided to launch four variants of the iPhone 12 and landed it on October. And yeah, it's a bit tough to choose which iPhone 12 should you get. First, let me share with you their five similarities. Let's start off with You've heard Tim Cook say it over and over again. They made a meme out of it. 5G. They all have 5G. They also have the same OLED panels, the Super Retina XDR, same A14 Bionic chip, and they all have the latest iOS 14 software. And lastly, the similar square design. Now it's time to differentiate their physical appearances. Starting off, with the iPhone 12 mini. The iPhone 12 mini weighs 135 grams, which is really light. The iPhone 12, which I don't have right now, weighs 164 grams. The iPhone 12 Pro weighs 189 grams, partly because of that extra camera and some other components that the iPhone 12 does not have. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max weighs a whopping 228 grams. And for the cameras, let me give you a summary. The iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12 both have dual cameras a 12 megapixel main sensor and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor and the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max both have three cameras with a lidar sensor but here's their differences yes all of the three cameras still have 12 megapixel sensors but the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a larger main sensor with sensor shift stabilization technology so yeah in terms of cameras if that's what you're focusing on the iPhone 12 Pro Max will not let you down and for storage options the the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini starts at 64 gigs and goes up to 256 gigs only, while the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max starts at 128 gigs and goes up to 512 gigabytes. And if color really does matter to you, the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini has five color options. Green, white, product red, blue and black while the iphone 12 pro and the iphone 12 pro max has four color options pacific blue gold graphite and white and silver now the prices the iphone 12 mini starts at 43,990 pesos the iphone 12 starts at 49,990 the iphone 12 pro starts at 62,990 and lastly the iphone 12 pro max starts at 68,990 pesos take note these prices are according to apple official website. Now that we've got that out of the way, which iPhone should you buy? Actually for me, the iPhone 12 that is right for you will depend on the size that you want, the money that you have, and the features that mean to you. If camera really matters to you, then the iPhone 12 Pro or even the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the one for you. But that doesn't mean that the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12 does not have great performance. Actually, out of all these phones that I have right now, the one that I would recommend to you is the one that I don't have and the one that I let go, which was the iPhone 12. It's the right amount of size, the right price point, and the overall experience was not bad. The mini is nice, especially if you want a different experience and if you want to experience another small iPhone, but its battery just won't last you the whole day. So I really don't recommend for you to get the iPhone 12 mini if you don't have a main device. And also knowing the fact that the iPhone 12 mini is only 3,000 less than the iPhone 12. So yeah, imagine for 3,000 more, you'll get a bigger display and a bigger battery. So with all of what I've said in mind, again, I ask you, which is the iPhone 12 for you? And for those of you who are asking where we got the iPhone 12s, I'll be putting the link down below. And again, it's me, Jason. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.